not expecting it to be that loud. At least it's noon here. We're, we're gonna go see what's up, fam. Good morning. We're doing something other than the beach today. Something that. Stop it. We are gonna go see some iconic alligators in this state. Prehistoric. Prehistoric. Wait, that's not And we're gonna maybe see people fight alligators. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Alligators are prehistoric. They, they are? Yeah, they're dinosaurs, dude. Alligators are prehistoric. Mom. Alligators Mom, are dinosaurs? Are alligators prehistoric? Uh, somewhat. Yeah. Are they are they the last living dinosaurs? Seems like I read that somewhere. Let's Google it. They sure look dinosaur y, I'll tell you that. So apparently there's this show called Gator Boys on Animal Planet. I haven't heard of it. You've heard of it? I've watched it. You've watched it? You've seen it. I, I watched it like when it first came out. One thing that we really wanted to do when we came here was see the Everglades. If you don't know what the Everglades are, which to be honest, I kind of didn't really know what it is. was. I'm just gonna read it from here so I don't mess it up. Uh, it's a Everglades National Park, it's a 1.5 million acre wetland preserve on the southern tip of the U.S. state of Florida. So basically, what I get from it is it's a big swamp, right? It's like a big swamp, like, area where you can typically see alligators and stuff like that, which is something the kids really wanna do. I don't think they've ever seen one unless it was like in a zoo or something. It seems like typically to go see the Everglades and see alligators, you take what's called an airboat, and there's like a thousand and one places that have these airboat tours. So what I did is I typed it in, I picked the closest one to us, and I just clicked go. When I researched them where I went to go buy tickets, it looks like this is the actual place where the Gator Boys are. Like this TV show, the people that are in the TV show are from here or are here. I, I don't really know. All I know is when I went onto the website, it says something like, oh, the famous Gator Boys, um, they're here. And then in the FAQs, it says that they're not guaranteed to be there, but that like a lot of the time that they are. So I, I honestly, I have no idea. I just typed it in. I hope that this park is a good one and not like one that's like, I don't know. It said something about rescuing gators, but I don't know like, why do gators need to be rescued? I don't know. I have no idea, honestly. I am just an amateur tourist looking to go do a Floridian thing. Do you want to go see the alligators? Yeah. Do you want to see the alligators? It's an hour and 11 minutes. What is that face? Are you offended that I said it's going to take an hour? <laughs> We made it. Everglades Holiday Park. I can't wait to see an alligator. Yeah. We already sunscreened once, but I think we're gonna sunscreen again. <laughs> this one, her arms have been covered the whole time because of her, we've been swimming. Oh yeah. Fully packed long yep. sleeve, so I'm worried about her getting burnt. Yeah, definitely. Extra. She's our only fully white child, is that weird? The exposure is kind of freaking out when I go to her. <laughs> she gets it from a mama. The rest of them are all, they're all mixed babies. Your glasses are all messed up. Are they are? Yeah. I dropped them several times. They look crooked on your face. Maybe it's just my face, okay? There you go. Oh, that was better? Yeah. Okay. Do you see, look at the... Yeah, just a little bit. We were talking about on the way here how green Florida is. It's so green. Because of the drought, we have like watering things and stuff. And just like everywhere you go here is so green. The highways are green. So much greenery. It's so pretty. Even Dad's shirt is green. What? Was this shirt born in Florida? <laughs> Crocodiles don't like dogs. <laughs> this ain't no cat. You're right, it didn't say no cats. We should have brought Sadie and Mowgli. I'll what? have a crappy fish. <laughs> Those right there are the boats that we're going on, guys. Do you see them? So they gave us a ticket number, and then we have to wait for them to call our tickets, and then we head down to the boarding area. Our ticket was 24, they just called 24. So here we go. So this that we're at right now, do you see all this right here? This is the, it's called the Everglades. The Everglades are a big, huge national park, Whoa. and it's like a swamp. Whoa. You see that? Yeah, there's a little jungle. All those animals that we saw walking up, those are all here. Tyson already saw a peacock. You guys are gonna see other stuff too. But this is a swamp. Swamps are where alligators live. So all out here is where the alligators are. You're not guaranteed to see one, but if you do see one, that's why. Are you guys ready to go swimming? No! Make sure you do not put your hands outside or you might lose oh, an arm. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, my name is Captain Tom. You guys can hear me down there. Can you make some noise for me, please? Woo! All right. There you go. Keep 
the lookout, okay? Keep me safe. That's why I have sons. Although you're technically my second born. Tyson, it's on you. First born son, keep me safe. Okay? You're my first born. You take the bite. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I want something new. was swimming towards us. I swear to God, that thing saw this little one. I know, ever since I heard about the alligator in Florida eating that, I think it was like a two-year-old or something, at Disney World, and I've been, following yeah, it was following us. I've been absolutely terrified of okay. them. So anytime that thing was like swimming towards us, my heart dropped for a second. That was cool, guys, yeah? Can you guys believe we saw real alligators in their natural habitat? Like, that was insane. 
All right, I know everyone thinks they're out to get you, but let's do the math here. We have over two million alligators in the state of Florida. If they really wanted to eat people, you'd be dying every single day. Instead, we have more people killed annually by vending machines than by alligators. And bring them back over here. Set them down in the sand, nice and gently. You will actually see 80 teeth in there. Now there are 40 on the top and 40 on the bottom. Uh, they can actually break their teeth off, they grow them back, and they cycle through several thousand teeth in their lifetime. We have all these alligators in here for a reason though. We are actually an alligator rescue, and these are all considered to be nuisance alligators. Now a nuisance alligator is one that showed up in somebody's backyard, got in their swimming pool, he ate fluffy, something like that. Now, once an alligator eats somebody's dog, the state is going to send out a trapper to capture and kill the alligator. Unless the dog he ate was a Pomeranian, then they just let him go to continue the good work. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, the state of Florida does kill several thousand of our nuisance alligators every year, and that is really sad because it's not the alligator's fault. It's usually a nuisance person that caused the problem, and by that I mean people that feed them. See, once you feed him, he learns to associate you with the food. You don't have the food. You are the food. That is why it's against the law to feed them. So what we do in here, we do our shows with these nuisance alligators instead of him being turned into a suitcase, which you appreciate that, right, Big Dog? <laughs> yes, he does. That's why we're considered an alligator rescue, because every alligator that you see in here would have sadly been destroyed if they were not here with us. Now, the state of Florida does not allow the release or relocation of nuisance alligators due to the alligator's homing ability. And what that means, even if you took this guy a hundred miles away to let him go, you give him a few months, he'll go back to the exact same backyard he was caught from. They have an incredible homing wow. ability, and that's why they're recognized as such amazing navigators. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job. Big guy, give the alligators some applause. Good job, Look at him. Now, as you can see, he gets up and walks away, and is probably gonna lay down and take a nap in three, two, one. Down. <laughs> as you can see, there's no revenge and hard feelings. Something like that shows none of it all. All right, kids, on to the next exhibit. <laughs> that live on the East Coast, they always go to Publix, and I've never even heard of the damn thing. And I was like, I'm gonna make it a point to make sure I go there at least one time. I think it's just a grocery store, honestly, but like, I'm really excited. And this is like a two-story one, it has a parking garage. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what's going on right now. Is it just a grocery store? Is it like a Target? Do they have clothes? I don't know. I have no idea. You guys, come on, we can't lose you in here. How do we get all of the groceries up the stairs? Oh, like that. What? Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see what I see? Look at that. They have an escalator for the cart. What the what the what the what? That's awesome. I'm fascinated already. Hello, Publix. They don't have Costco brand diapers here. I wonder why. <laughs> Mom, grandbaby number eight. And we got I have something to tell you. And Eddie got Oreo. <laughs> Dramatic Publix pregnancy announcement. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like that. So the verdict is, it's just a grocery store. I mean, had all the stuff we needed though. So, shout out to Publix. But now I know what it is. Us West Coast people have never heard of a Publix. So you vloggers on the East Coast, just know that us West Coast people have no idea what a Publix is. We're gonna swim until the kids get tired and then put them to bed. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!